What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm just going to be talking about what we'd like to see in next season and some of the leaks from last update, which was about 24 hours ago from the time that this video should be out. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Chapter three, season two is coming out on the 19th of March, as you guys can see down here. So that's pretty much the confirmed date of the season from Epic Games. But before I get into what we'd like to see, I'm just going to go through the leaks from the last update, just so you guys know what I'm kind of talking about with some of these things. All right, so here's just some tweets from Shinna BR. So some of the leaks, there's replay mode. You can now change the time of a day, which is pretty good for replays. If you want to get thumbnails or something, you don't have to worry about what time of day it is, I guess. So here's just another tweet from Hypex showing you time of day on creative, how much differences you can do. I believe Epic has now fully added the clips feature to the game. So this means that you can clip up to 30 seconds of your gameplay and share them around with your friends, which is really good for players that can't clip stuff or if it's easier to do it through Fortnite, then it's just better to do it like that. Also, all the bows have been vaulted now, so you can't get the flame bow, primal bow, or anything unless you play the unvaulted limited time game mode, which is out right now by the time I'm recording this. So make sure you go play that if you did like the bows. There's some other good weapons like the charged shotgun, combat shotgun, and famos in there. So go play that. But there's also some map changes like these new tires added around the island. Fortnite BR on Twitter has stated tires have been added to the island around the foundation statue. So just around that statue, you can glide up. That's where you can just go on the tires, I guess. Also, Spider-Man's web shooters can be found as chest loot now around the island and bouncers have been unvaulted which is really good now all we need to be unvaulted is the hunting rifle which is in unvaulted but we need that to come back to the game. Also, another leak. There's an earthquake warning added in the game files. So this could mean something about an event coming up. Something about the end of season. I've got no idea. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, another tweet from Hypex saying there'll be a new type of chicken which carries around loot. It might be in game already, but if not, it's for the next season. Also, Columbus can now sneeze out chickens with a rare chance. So if you find that, make sure you clip it since it's rare, I guess. This reward says hunter loot chicken or crow as well well, which chickens only drop meat and crows sometimes drop weapons. So. so that's pretty much all the leaks I want to talk about. I don't want to get into the, like the skin leaks or whatever because that's just irrelevant to me. If you want, then go watch iTalk if he uploaded a video on that or just go check out Twitter. But now I'm just going to talk about what we hope to see in next season. So next season, chapter three, season two, I'm hoping that we get the pumps back, the scars back. And I don't even care about the new Ranger or even the MK. They can go if they want them to. If not, just keep the MK in the game it's not that bad but the ranger that can go also the attachment leaks hopefully they come next season they might not as they haven't came for a while now but we're hoping that that's one thing that might be coming some map changes we could possibly see some location changes like the daily bugle that could be changing into a volcano that's the same in chapter 2 season 5 i'm pretty sure it was or 4 sorry if i'm getting these wrong but the marvel season where they had that big stark location over frenzy farm and the yachts deadpool job also keeping the crown winds in the game that would probably be a really good addition, but that could get a little bit toxic like the party royale kids who buy accounts and just stand there flexing skins. I don't even get the point of that. That's why I never play party royale. But I think keeping crown wins in the game would be a good addition to just leave alone. But with the loot pool, as I was saying before, I'd revert everything back, snipers, add the hunting rifle. Some other more fun things that I'd think would be a good addition to the game is like more car mods. So if you could add like exhaust, turbos, just something to add the boost in the cars or something, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe even like different types of tires so like if you drive in the snow biome a tire works better and grips onto the snow or something i think that could be a good addition to the game as well also let me know your opinions in the comments down below also i just want to talk about collabs really quickly pretty much i think fortnite's been run too much with collabs so in chapter three season two it'll probably be good for not as many collabs at all maybe just a couple but maybe not as much as what we got this season and the last of chapter two i think no collabs in the battle pass would be better than a full battle pass full of collabs in my opinion I think Fortnite just needs to be a bit more creative like what they used to back in chapter one. But, you know, I can't really make up any of the rules or anything. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Sorry if this video wasn't too long, but there's nothing really much about what I want to talk about. The thing that we would like the most is the weapon attachments. They would probably be the best addition to the game as they have been leaked in the game files recently as well. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy them, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram up on the screen and using my creator code if you're not already if you do use my creator code then let me know down in the comments down below so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one